Hey YouTube, Rick Blaze here, and uh, I'm back with another haul. I don't know when you're exactly going to see this one. I got, like I said, a couple others in the can. I still got more three questions videos to uh, post, but uh, uh, this is day two of Brick Universe and the Toy Show. I went to both those today, so I got actually got some stuff at both. I bought stuff at Brick Universe today this time, uh, and then I know I look really tired because I've been up and out all day. And then uh, when I'm done recording this video, I'm jumping into, uh, I believe, Brittany Starshine's stream, uh, her section of the 72-hour stream. And, and, you know, we got a few more hours of streaming, so uh, my bed is a long ways away. But that's all right, because it's been a fun Lego time today. So, without further ado, let's show you what I got today. Uh, so I got some stuff at the, the toy show first, so we're going to get that out the bag here. I got, got, got several several goodies. Oops, you almost saw that one before I wanted to show it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, so I got a little McDonald's poly bag for two dollar. Well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing a boat or a seaplane or something. Uh, it's number six with I guess, a, is that a fry guy? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a fry guy or not. But, but it's number six of I don't know how many. I would have to research. Like, I got McDonald's uh, Lego sets when I was a kid, but I never got these, the series. So, anyway, two bucks for that. Not a bad deal. Uh, I also got a few um, random uh, bags of parts. Uh, so, this one was two bucks. And there's a lot of uh, windows with uh, stickers on them. And, you know, red window frames, white stickers. Uh, there's a couple others that have. All, all that good good stuff on there and I figure it's white and red and it seems to be those are hospital colors and I have a hospital set that already has some of these so I can use that to expand make a larger hospital so uh, this baggie here this was also two dollars I really only bought it because there was a burp in it and then there's like one of these smaller rock pieces and a lot of other random assorted Sorted parts. Ooh, what was that? I didn't see that. Oh, there we go. That's like a Star Wars uh, windscreen. Okay, uh, what else did I get? Oh, I got this, this bag right here for $2. And the whole reason I snagged this one right away, not only has it got the uh, old classic police uh, panel, which I already have a, a quite a few of, uh, but oh, look, I didn't even see that. Little micro guy. It's like a prisoner, uh, but in, underneath the micro guy, it's a police um, battery box for like the old light bricks. I think you, I just need the light brick to snap on top of there. And uh, oh no, look at that. There was a second one in there. So I don't know if those work or not, but for $2, uh, that's pretty good. And there's a lot of other parts in there that I could, you know, definitely throw in my collection. So I'm, I'm always the one for for random parts. And uh, now here's what I believe to be my steal of the day. Uh, so it is what appears to be either a complete or mostly complete uh, Inquisitor's TIE Fighter. And the Inquisitor fig is in here. His lightsaber is not, but the Inquisitor's in there. Uh, and then here's how much I paid for that. Can you, can you see that on the bag? Three dollars. Uh, so uh, I, I figure, especially with the Inquisitor fig being in there, uh, definitely worth three bucks. Three dollars all day, son. <laughs> so that's what I got from Toy Show. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm dying. That's okay. And then, so what I got at Brick Universe, I uh, bought me a little. Let's see if I can get the focus there. This one's going to be difficult to focus, I think. Ah, there we go. Fallout 4 Nuka World printed brick. Uh, full disclosure, never played a single Fallout game myself. Uh, my wife is currently upstairs right now, Ragdoll Jesse, you all know her, as she's playing Fallout 4 as we speak. Uh, but I just liked the uh, the print on the disc, or on the, the brick, and I thought that was pretty cool. 
So, so there we go. And eventually I, I will play it. I mean, we have it in the house, so I have access to it. I uh, also picked up this Brick Journal magazine, and unfortunately the corner got bent on my way home. Uh, but, notice that there it is autographed to me. To Jason, Steampunk Rules. And that is from Paul Hetherington. He was the builder of this little piece that's on the cover, which is amazing. And I got to see it there, and I love it. And he built all kinds of other cool stuff, too. I think I, I had a really difficult time deciding what my favorite piece of the show was, whether it was this one or his his um, Joker Funhouse, which I'm sure many of you have seen that online because that Funhouse is amazing, too. So, uh, But I bought the, uh, the Brick Journal magazine. Talks all about him building that piece, and then he autographed it for me, so that was cool. And then the last thing I got... I got the Brick Universe St. Louis Night 2019 badge, a uh, brick badge, basically. It's not a badge; it's a it's a brick for the badge. Um, <coughs> so I was I was walking up to uh, to purchase one of these, and as I uh, pulled out my wallet to get that, uh, Grayson happened to walk right up to the table. He's like, "Nope, you don't uh, you don't pay for that. Any friend of Hoosier Bricks uh, doesn't have to pay for that." So, so there we go, guys. Thank you very much, Hoosier. You saved me some money and got me a free brick. So, and thank you very much, Grayson, for putting on a show and for uh, giving me a free brick. I know you'll probably never watch this video, but that's all right. I'm sending my thanks anywho. So that's all I got today. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. i got to turn this off and get on the stream now. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. You know, all, ladies and gentlemen, have yourself a wonderful day.